Well, I need to wake up. I have so many plans today. And if I'm gonna make it, I gotta get up early. I love to start my day from coffee. Usually I eat yogurt for breakfast, but today is Saturday. And I want to change my routine. So today I will eat cereal with milk. Today is sunny and this breakfast looks like a weather outside. I love to read something in the morning, because it's the one time of the day when I can read. A cup of coffee and a good book is the best start of the day. Let's go out. It's still very early, but it's the best time for work. Pleasantly refreshing cool air. And park isn't too crowded. I love walking. In the morning, walking helps me to concentrate and tune into the walking mood. Besides, I'm gonna combine business with pleasure. Actually, I came here for a reason. There is a castle in this park. Beautiful fence. But where is the entrance? Well, this is a backyard. There seems to be no entrance. I like how it looks. Windows. Stucco. It seems I found the door I needed. Let's have a look inside. First, I have to hand in my jacket in the wardrobe, which is apparently in the basement. This castle is small, but at the same time very cozy. And many elements of interior and the furnishing have remained in a pristine way. I don't know what architectural style it is, but I like it and it perfectly fits as a reference. I didn't say you, I came here for references. Well, I need some ornaments, the most striking element of the palace. Just look at this fireplace and this piano. It has candlesticks. Stunning. I'm impressed. Besides that, there is a nice pizzeria nearby. Now I need to find a good place for lunch. Suitable. It's so hot. It's a calzone. Oven baked folded pizza. Incredibly tasty. It's so good with tomato juice. It's topped with mozzarella and egg and chicken. Well, I need to buy some art supplies. At first, one-ish. I don't know which one is better. And also, I need a canvas. There's not a single price tag. This is me trying to film myself. I'm finally home. I'm planning to draw a little. I showed you some of my sketchbooks in one of my previous videos. It is the turn of this one. By the way, this picture on the sketchbook is the Great Wave of Kanazawa. Zawa. 
I thought a lot, is it worth to show this sketchbook? Cause it's more for work. It is a draft sketchbook for messy sketches. There are concepts and ideas for my future games. Here I tried myself in the character design. Today I'm going to draw a castle. Elements of the building. I need to choose reference photos. Where do I begin? I need both exterior and interior. Let's start from the building. The castle I've visited today is pretty good as a reference. Because it is simple and elegant at the same time. Just what I need for a game. Of course, I could find more pompous palace with more lavish decoration and luxurious interior. But I think it would be too much for a game. Maybe I will add some elements later. If it will look too simple and poor. I forgot to say I'm drawing this for a mobile game. I know that in some places it's a little crooked, and in general, with the right approach, it is necessary to measure everything, build projections and perspective, and I will do it, later, on a tablet. Right now my main concentration is to catch the right direction, find the style and atmosphere then I would be able to transfer it to the digital version. It shouldn't take long. I probably will make a video how the sketches transform to mobile game scenes. So subscribe to not miss. And put a like. It's important. The size of mobile phone screen is small, so I will simplify details. And I will deliberately increase some of the decorating elements for greater expressiveness. Actually, before I didn't try to draw for a game myself, I didn't realize that there are so many nuances. I have special problems with scale, size, composition. I played mobile games a lot but didn't realize how specific the graphics are there. And also the situation is complicated by the fact that I rarely painted architecture, giving preference to portrait and still life. Nevertheless, it's a very interesting experience. I'm learning a lot of new things. I thought at first that I will use hatching for the drawing. Yeah, once you learn hatching, you start to apply it everywhere. But I learned hatching a lot in the previous video. It's time to try something new. I bought something interesting at the art shop. I wanted to try this for so long, but always forgot to buy it. Any ideas what is it? It's a paper stamp, blending stamp, tartillion. But I forgot that I'm a blogger and have tried it already. 
I haven't figured out how it works yet. It blends so intensively. Maybe I'd better draw a lighter sketch. But shadows are cool. Really cool. I usually use a finger or a cotton swab to blend. This thing has a completely different effect. A cotton swab blends slightly and good for portraits. Drawing light blush or shadows on eyes. But it is powerless on big scales. I can't stop blending. I'm wondering, is it possible to paint the roof using this item? Hmm, works well. It's getting dark. What should I draw next? Well, I need stairs. It would be easier to draw it on a tablet, because you don't need to measure lines, but when I tried to draw it directly on a tablet, it wasn't going very well. Too boring and too simple. It looked more like a design project than seen for a game. That's why I want to create a concept art on a paper before. This time I decided to speed up the process and make shadows using blending stump. Hmm. The ball isn't in the correct place. I'll fix it. It wouldn't be superfluous to use a ruler here, but apparently I decided that drawing by hand is certainly more interesting. When I started at school, our teacher restricted us to use a ruler. I don't know why. Maybe it makes sense. But I'm not sure. I should buy a mechanical razor. You know, this rubber in a mechanical pen. One of the reasons why I like to draw a sketch on a paper first is because it is easier for me to choose the right angle. For example, these stairs. I was exhausted from rebuilding the blueprint of stairs on the tablet. So I've better find an appropriate view in the sketchbook. And yeah, I know about the column. I didn't see it in the process because of the camera. It was too close to paper. And I saw the picture from the left side. i fix it later. Well, now I need to do the same with the left part. Ideally symmetrical. Let's go. I don't know why I started from the right-hand side. 
apparently to get my hand dirty. I can't find no other reason for drawing that away. Looks like it worked out well. In color will be even better. I want to draw one more scene, but I need to come up with a concept. And I'm a little bit tired. I need some fresh air. It is Saturday after all. 